tried to light that flare a little bit earlier. Didn't quite work. Okay. We're back in business. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Sweet. <laughs> The darkness control is taking. We knew that. It's coming for us. Yes. There we go. A shotgun with plenty of ammo. Welcome to my cabin. Oh, I thought I threw a flashbang. That guy came running away. He's already... Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on! There we go. Let's reload. Does the light from this not heal me? I thought I could get some help there. Okay. Let's uh, move forward. Quickly. That's a cliff. I don't want to go that way. health recharges extremely slowly. I think if I can just make it to this light, it'll be okay. Catch my breath. I had this horrible second where I thought the train was coming for me. <laughs> Alright, I feel pretty good about being loaded down with shotgun bullets. Let's go. Hello? Uh, Alan just shoves the shotgun down his pants. Alice? Alice? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. All right. I don't actually remember where the call the pipe is. The wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Great. Now we've got random objects that are going to try to kill me. Where's the next signal here? There we go. In there. Please. Please have a flare gun for me. Oh, hey, bullets. Shotgun ammo. Excellent. And a flare gun! Perfect. Things get really dicey. We are now equipped to handle it. Oh, speaking of dicey. Is that a double kill? Maybe, maybe not. Alright. Reach the train depot. Well, the train came from over here, so we've got to be close. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Oh, this 
bridge is in terrible condition. The darkness that okay. was All right, this is definitely not just a train anymore. And it was taking over everything. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, get out of my way. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. <laughs> Oh, stay away from me. Oh. Oh. This wheelbarrow is possessed. How do I get in here? I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Alright, well somebody's doomed. <laughs> As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. Ooh, a heavy this duty was anything flashlight. But the darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. <sighs> it's not a good sign how many things they're giving me. Oh, no, here they come. Hang on, there's an explosive barrel right in the middle of them. Is that not gonna work? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. No. See, let's reload things. Oh, oh, hey there. There's more than one. There's more than one. Last flare. It's all over me in this tiny area. Reload, Alan. Not even any goodies back there to make up for all of that. In light, you can hurt them. Yeah, we we know that. <laughs> I don't think I would have gotten this far without figuring that out. Oh, good. Replacement flares. Some bullets. A broken radio. Oh, and a Night Springs episode. We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Tonight's episode A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durless' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition, but you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Uh oh. Really? Of course, Mr. <laughs> when anybody says things like that, that's when you leave. Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> this is definitely not going to go well for you, Mr. Durleth. Learned a harsh lesson. 
<laughs> Not very too. <laughs> like the Twilight Zone usually has much more like subtlety than that. Just <laughs> walk in, get kissed, be possessed by an alien. Oh, hello. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. You know, just once I'd like to pick up a manuscript page and it'd be like, Alan found a chain shotgun and a minigun and a flashlight the size of the Empire State Building. He felt really great about himself. Fighting a freaking bulldozer. Ah. Take out the little guys first. Okay, okay. Ooh. Let's use the flare. This thing has a lot of health. Oh, it's backing up. Oh. New battery. Ooh! Ow! Stop bringing friends. Get some extra stuff out of this box and move forward. <sighs> oh, what you here? Miss the party. What do we got? Flares, batteries, revolver ammo. Oh, there's another box over here. Maybe there'll be shotgun ammo in that one. No. Flares, batteries, pistol. I don't need that. How about in this one? Flares, batteries, pistol ammo. No, all right. That's fine. I still have eight shots for the shotgun. We're good for a while. I don't really know why I'm picking it up, but I see a shiny and I must. Oh, oh, a car I can actually drive. I have never been this glad to see the sunrise. Oh, we made it! <laughs> I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Well, I mean, I am armed. Without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken to Craig. Ah! Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. I mean, we all know insanity is a textbook diagnosis. Off road and in a pickup truck. Why is the car not driving? Come on, go. Back on the road. Oh, let's 
check the tower. Maybe we'll trade up for a better car. After I parked so spectacularly. Could be a manuscript page up here. Maybe a gun. I don't think I'm going to find weapons during the daytime, though. No, just a radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big-shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a... A lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. <laughs> now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Peeved. Some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Who's Dr. Nelson? Also, does that radio station only have one DJ who works all night and all morning? Because if so, I feel very bad for Pat Main, the 24-hour DJ. <laughs> We'll trade up for this mustard yellow Impala. Or whatever this is. Just casually stealing cars. Oh wait. Is this the coal mine? It says down here is the coal mine, so we're gonna keep going a bit. Drifting! Totally on purpose! Visitor parking, okay. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. The Museum of Coal Mining. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. At least the radio DJ's on my side. Uh, 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. Thirty-two miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all the mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now, many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. I hit the wrong button and went to the manuscript pages. All right. Something tells me I'm going to be running away from bad guys over there. Welcome to my dungeon. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Maybe you should take off one of your Different jackets. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Well, I got a manuscript Whoa. for you right here. It's got two chapters. 
upper and lower barrel. Let me out. I had to get to Mirror Peak. <laughs> how, does, how do I get out of here? Oh! Maybe closer than ever before. Oh, that appears to have worked. You know, this kidnapper is kind of an idiot by continually waiting until nighttime to meet with me when it's the most dangerous for everyone involved. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Alright, let's. Ah! Yeah, what did I tell you? When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. And now, back to your regularly scheduled nightmare. With a dumpster full of ammo again. I thought I dodged that. Oh, I'm lighting the flare as I'm dying. <laughs> oh, it didn't even save that I picked this up. Alright, I still want to hit these explosives. Come on, come out. Take out these guys. I thought the flare would stun that guy a lot better than me. They just take flashlight. I don't have to shoot them with bullets, but still, very annoying. Flashbangs. Always welcome in my inventory. Oh. Hey guys. Don't you come to life. I'm watching you, gear. Oh, there's like a box that's gone nuts down there. I wonder. Can I drop that in there with it? Is it working? Can't tell. It didn't work. How about this? Down, dumpster. That worked a lot better. What the hell? Oh, I don't need this. Oh, great, another you electrified fence. Go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Got a whole car. Oh, there's a guy right there.
I just bring the headlights with me? Because they take the darkness off of them real fast. Right, one more. Come here, buddy. Whoops. There we go. Into the light. Flare gun ammo. Oh, flare gun. Very handy. That fixed the power problem. Yes, okay. Just gotta get back there in my mega killer jeep. It's very broken right now. <laughs> These things were not rated for running over multiple people and still driving. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's go. It knocked off one of my lights. Way too many of these things. Oh, the jeep's broken. The jeep's broken. Oh, the jeep really broke. It broke causality. What the crap was that? I hopped out of one side and then suddenly teleported to the other side to hop out and die. All right, we're gonna rush this. We're not gonna waste time trying to kill all of the inanimate objects or the animate inanimates, whatever they are. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Out of my way. care if that doesn't kill him, as long as it knocks him out of the way so I can go, that's fine. Yeah! Finished! Okay. We've made it to the... I don't know what these are. Coal hoppers. Batteries and bullets. And bad guys. So far, I managed to survive this whole area using just the shotgun. And I'm perfectly happy to continue that way. It's... Oh, oh! No one in the dark. Well, didn't need that advice. <laughs> one shotgun shell left, and then we're down to the pistol and the flare gun. I'm trying to save the flare gun, but I feel like maybe I'm doing that thing that you do 